Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do the fall favorites tag. So I have mild eczema and like really dry skin and it tends to start acting up come fall and transfers over into the winter time. So for my favorites, I wanted to share with you my favorite skincare and beauty products for dry skin. So for me, when the weather starts to cool down, my skin starts to dry out. The first product I want to share with you is the Skin Fix Eczema Hand Repair Cream. I just have to say, this stuff is the bomb. Let me give you the lowdown on this hand cream. First of all, I've had dry, irritated hands since I can remember, I'm a hand washer, like an obsessive compulsive hand washer. I will wash my hands after I touch anything remotely disgusting. My hands get super irritated and dry due to all my excessive hand washing and then when it starts to get cold, that just like amplifies it and makes it so much worse. So I always have this in my purse year round, but even more so I make sure to keep this in stock during the fall and the winter times because that's when my skin starts to change and get drier. I've tried so many different hand creams and I feel like most of them are not for hands as dry as mine, but this cream actually makes my hands feel hydrated. There's colloidal, colloidal, so there's colloidal oatmeal in this, which is like the active ingredient that helps to soothe your skin. On top of being irritated, my hands get itchy to the point where sometimes I will scratch my hands in my sleep and then wake up with cuts and scratches and scabs on my hands. It's really cute. When I use this hand cream, it makes my hands look less irritated. They feel less irritated. They feel moisturized. Yeah, this is just, this is like my number one. Shout out Skin Fix Eczema Hand Repair Cream. If you have dry hands like me, you need this stuff because it works. <laughs> Next up on my list of dry skin favorites, uh, is the Bybee Supercharged Serum. And extra points because it is 100% natural. So as a rule of thumb for me, generally I try to use products that are 90% or more natural. And this one gets an A plus because it's 100% natural. According to the bottle, it is an active botanical concentrate, antioxidant rich, active facial serum to replenish, rejuvenate, and repair. I love using this stuff. It is formulated for normal to dry skin. Oilier skins can use it. Uh, you just need to use it sparingly, but it is specifically formulated more for normal to dry skin. I usually use this at night um, just because it is a little bit thicker of a serum. You can use it in the daytime and it makes your skin look nice and glowy. It's full of a bunch of like natural ingredients that are just really great for your skin. One of them being squalane, which helps with the production of oil in your face. It helps prevent your skin from overproducing oil or not producing enough oil. And it leaves your skin with just enough moisture to keep it healthy and moisturized. On top of squalane, this serum is also chock full of antioxidants and vitamins A, C, and E. So yeah, I love this stuff. Slather it all over your face at night and you'll wake up nice and glowy and moisturized. On top of having super irritated and dry hands, another problem area of mine is my lips. I am a lip licker chapstick fiend on top of a obsessive compulsive hand washer. All these wonderful like flaws I have. I'm obsessively always putting on chapstick and licking my lips, which is just kind of like, I put the chapstick on to moisturize my lips and then I lick it off and then my lips get dry, so then I put chapstick. It's like a never ending horrible cycle. So because of that, my lips peel a lot. That's one of the reasons why I can't really wear like matte lipsticks because when you wear a matte lipstick you can see all like the crusty skin on your lips that are like drying and peeling off. I know, super cute, I know. But then I discovered the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and my life was changed. I've tried so many different like scrubs and I've never tried a lip mask. This is my first time trying a lip mask but I've tried like exfoliating my lips and all these different types of chapsticks but nothing ever really worked for me and then I started using this. I don't use it every night. I only use it if my lips are feeling super dry or if I have a shoot the next day because you want your lips to look nice and plump and pouty. So Laneige is a K-beauty brand and one of the things I love about Korean beauty is that they use clean ingredients. They don't add a lot of the additives and gross preservatives that we use here in the United States. So the way you use this, um, it comes with a little like lip spatula and you just like slather a layer on your lips and you go to sleep. I think one of the reasons why this lip mask is so amazing is because Laneige has a patented moisture wrap technology ingredient that is 
in this little sleeping mask. And on top of that, there's also a berry mix complex with um, a lot of antioxidants and vitamin C. So if you have dry lips, I definitely recommend the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Now we're gonna move on to makeup. <sighs> My face tends to start getting dry like right before like winter comes. Winter is coming. But right now, it is okay. It's still kind of oily. I live in Southern California and it's still kind of summery weather. It actually just recently started cooling down, but my skin hasn't gotten dry yet. However, I wanted to share with you my favorite face makeup for dry skin, and that is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick with SPF 25, because you always need SPF regardless of the season. The sun is always out, even if it's covered by clouds. I love this stuff because when you put it on, you can feel the moisture. Like, it almost feels wet. It's not like water or anything, but when you put it on, I have it on today, it feels wet. Like, you can tell that your face is just getting like, moisturized from within. This thing is so packed with moisture that the first two ingredients are seawater and water. That's right, there's two different kinds of water in this face foundation stick. There's mineral rich volcanic seawater, which helps provide mineral rich moisture because water is the essence of moisture. Moisture is the essence of wetness. There's also red algae, which helps your skin retain the moisture. And then there's titanium dioxide, which is a natural occurring sunscreen. So kudos, because a lot of times when there's sunscreen in a product, it's a chemical sunscreen and not a natural sunscreen. If you need a good foundation for drier skin, then you should check out the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. It feels like you're rubbing water all over your face, and then you're also like covering your blemishes and stuff. Great. My last and final favorite product for dry skin is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I don't usually use setting powder because my under eyes are also another problem dry area for me. Yeah, I think those are my three problem areas. My under eyes, my lips, and my hands. So usually when it gets closer to winter time, that's when my under eye area starts to act up and I'll have like patches under my eyes, little dry patches. So I tend to stay away from powders. I also just don't really do setting powders year round because I have like lines under my eyes and uh, they tend to make my makeup crease and then the powder just makes it look chalky. And anyways, I started using this a few, like this week, and it's probably the best setting powder I've ever tried. Mind you, I haven't tried a lot of setting powders, but again, the first ingredient of the Becca Hydra Mist setting powder is water. So you know it's hydrating because the first ingredient is water. And like, I actually looked up other setting powders just to get an idea of what the ingredient list looks like. And all of them, the first ingredient is either talc or mica. Make sure you blend it though, because I went to a wedding this weekend and didn't blend it properly and I looked Ooh. like a ghost. I'm still kind of a setting powder noob, so that was, you know, you live and you learn. I won't do that again. So if you have dry under eyes like me and haven't been able to find a setting powder that doesn't like sink into your dry patches and your creases under your eyes, you should definitely try the Becca Hydra Mist powder because I actually really loved it. <laughs> so before I sign off, I wanted to give a shout out and say thank you to Aritzia for this super cute cream colored wrap crop top. There's a little bow right here. They have a lot of cute stuff on their website. Perfect for the fall. I wanted to say thank you, Rizia. I really like how this fits. It's super cute. I'm gonna link it all below so you can see what I picked up. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. If you have dry skin, you should definitely try checking out some of the products that I mentioned today. And these products have totally helped me in my dry skin problems. So I wanted to share, share what I've learned from trial and error with you. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.